was it was Zeke, and today we have our brand new blade. What do we have here, Zeke? A blade. <laughs> <laughs> Not that Thurlock. <laughs> we have a grizzly. 10 by 22 inch leg. And what are you doing here, Zeke? Cutting PVC so we can muck up our rear sets for our zone. There we go. So here are some things that we learned on YouTube. The ISO 68 Mystic Oil. And we ran through our complete um, initial startup yesterday, drained the oil, had nine ounces of oil. Here's the oil. Had just a little bit of sheen to it, some metal parts in it. If you go to the tractor supply, you can buy this two gallons for $24. Okay. Okay, here's another mod we learned on YouTube. And that is to cover up this hole on the back side where any material could fall into. Yeah, they're probably upside down now because of my bad camera skills, but yeah, there you go. One of the things that we didn't want to do is be bending over, so this is actually the bottom of the lathe is at roughly 43 and a half inches, so we don't have to bend over. So th the first mod that we made, here's the tool post that comes with it, the four-sided one. It has a 10 millimeter bolt. What we did is we took it and we tapped it. We took a 2464 spit drilled it out, and then used a 14 millimeter by 1.5 pitch. And, okay, and then all we did is screwed this in, and voila, we're done, and we're ready for our quick change tool post, which is an AXA size. We picked this up at CDCO online. I think it was $119. Here's another thing we learned off of YouTube. To oil the the ballers, three ninety nine at Harbor Freight has brass tips on it. Works fantastic. <laughs> New series coming. <laughs> Will it? No. Okay, so we're gonna find out if we can narrow PVC. Pretty sure you can. Let's try it. Pour. <laughs> right. You can. You can knurl it. Hi, right, cool. Let's move it in a little so it gets more. Okay. Mm -hmm. 